If you're just joining, this is Good Morning Abuja on the Unity Station NTA Channel 5 Abuja. I finished my first conversation. If you missed it, well, you still have an opportunity to join in on our second conversation on the program. I have with me Bonlali Moses, and she he, she is a counselor. Together, we'll be talking about child abuse. What about child abuse? Let's find out from her. You're welcome to Good Morning Abuja. Good morning, presenter. Welcome to the program. Thank you. So this um topic we're actually talking about child abuse is actually a, a very delicate one and usually most times um, want to know so much about it so sometimes we, 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 we might not actually know when a child is being abused so that's why you're here today to give us and enlighten us about all that child abuse actually anything. so how does um what are the different forms that child abuse actually take okay. thank you presenter uh, child abuse is complex. Okay. It's not limited. Most of the time we just look at one angle or one side. When we talk about child abuse, somebody will quickly think ah, it is when uh, corporal punishment is inflicted mm -hmm. on the child and you have injuries mm -hmm. and you have, but it's not limited to the physical abuse. Okay. Child abuse is any form of maltreatment that is given to a child that poses a danger or affects the life of that child. Mm -hmm. Even child neglect can be an abuse. Okay. You have a child staying with you, your biological, non-biological mm. child or children, and for whatever reason you neglect that child. It's a like you're not available abuse. all you, time. You you are not you available to okay. meet the needs of that child. Okay. You isolate some, they have uh, a child, children that stays with them, mm. and they isolate one, take care of one, isolate the other. It's a form of abuse. Mm. And of course, we have the physical abuse too that involves the use of corporal punishment mm. in order to effect punishment mm. in a child. Mm. So we have the physical abuse, we have emotional abuse, we have also the sexual abuse, okay. which is prevalent now. Mm. Yeah. Okay, so how, you, you've already said it, but how prevalent as is child abuse in our society? And what are the factors that contribute? You've mentioned some of it like neglecting and all that. So we still have some other factors. We wanted to throw more light on factors. Some of these factors that contribute to child abuse. In fact, the situation we find ourselves economically now mm. is making everybody to be stressed up. Wow. So financial stress is one reason mm. why children may be abused. And of course, we have the family factor too. When we talk about domestic violence, mm. uh, the, 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 the kind of abuse that happens in the home. Mm. So family, some family situations, family difficulties okay. can make children to be abused. And... Uh, what again, the economic situation, financial stress, family issues, mm. single parenting mm. can also make a child to be abused. Oh, okay. Mm. Okay, so what are the signs and indicators that, because um, y sometimes you don't, when I, when I introduced the program, I was like, you don't really know when a child is abused. So what are those indicators to show you or tell you that a child is being abused? Well, in most cases, a child that is abused may not come mm. forward to say this is happening. Okay. It takes for very careful vigilance in order to detect if a child is suffering from abuse. Okay. Uh, I, let, me, let me talk from my own counseling, from my own point of uh, uh, my profession. I'm a teacher mm -hmm. and uh, I deal with children of different age groups. Wow. So when you see a child that is being lively mm -hmm. and you see that child withdrawn, is an indication that something That's may wrong. be happening to that child. Mm -hmm. Some they will just develop an aggressive behavior, something that has not been part of them before. It may be an indication that this child is suffering. And uh, we have some other ones that uh, is still part of withdrawal. Uh, others are playing, and you see this child will just mm -hmm. on his own isolate himself. I've uh, had situation where they have come to report, ah, this child in the class, the head has been down all mm -hmm. along. Okay. What is happening? And when I moved into the case, I discovered that the, the girl was 12 years, was sexually molested that weekend mm. before that Monday. Mm. Of course, she won't come out because it's not something mm, that is right. sweet mm, to, to say. say. But upon I'm investigation shy. and a lot of counseling, and mm. she came out and said, this is what is happening. Mm. So how does child abuse impact the physical, emotional, and psychological well-being of a child? 
Is it, when a child is abused, the emotional level becomes zero. Mm. Uh, confidence is taken away. Mm. Because, for instance, that, child, that girl of 12 years that was sexually molested by the uncle before coming to school on Monday, she's emotionally destabilized. She's feeling out of place with others. Mm. So that child cannot function in that environment in the society again, except something is done to that child. Mm. So when a child is abused, they lose confidence. Mm. They lose confidence and they form opinions. Everybody around me do not care. I don't have love. Nobody loves me. I am not wanted. Mm. And it is one reason why those that are matured, they go into, some fall into depression from there. Mm. Some form a bit that becomes, that leads to further abuse. It becomes a chain. The experience I have, uh, I will also pass it on because of the bitterness, because of the anger in mm. the heart. Mm. Uh, so it, it has a long term and a long run effect in the lives of those that are abused. Wow. So what are some of the common myths and misconceptions about um, child abuse that needs to be addressed. You discover some would say it's not your business, is she your child or something like that. I'm giving her everything. So what are those common myths? You see, in this part of the world addressed? we feel my children, they are mine. Mm. Mm. I can do whatever I want with them. Even if I like, I can kill them. Nobody will query me but that is not the situation before because we have the child rights in nigeria the children they have their own right. rights okay. they have a right to survive they have a right to live they have right to good quality education mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so it is not that it's my child or a child is put in my care mm. i can do just what i want with that child mm. every child has equal right, right and that right must be maintained it must be honored okay. so we don't treat a child or we treat children just anyhow our emotions tells us to treat them mm -hmm. no so how can individuals or community and institutions play a role in preventing child abuse? because i know back then i don't know uh, now it's it's reducing but back then it's like a community training a child in fact there are times where if your if your mom or your parents are not around and you do something, the neighbor sees you, the neighbor will discipline you like it's our own child, mm -hmm. and then mm -hmm. you that you are disciplined will not even have more to tell your parents. Tell when, parents. But later or maybe in the evening when the parents are back, that same person will come will again. Come Immediately you see that person, you that is the victim will run because you know mm -hmm. what you actually did was bad. So but we don't see it happening now. So what are those things that need to actually come back? As in what role do they play in preventing this um, child abuse? Well, I think we should be accountable mm. and everybody should be responsible. Okay. Uh, if I look at your child, that uh, if that child can spoil, let the child spoil, it's not my business. At the end of the day, it will still come back to haunt me yeah. because we belong to yeah. uh, the it's society. Okay. So every child should, we should be responsible for as many children as we have contact with. Mm. When there is need to correct whether it's my biological child or mm. not, I should move in and effect correction. Mm. If as a school, school should be given the mandate and the authority to train children. Okay. Because we see in the world of today, there are some parents that will tell you, don't discipline my child, mm. leave my child for me. A bad parent come to school and say, I have cane inside my car. This teacher flogged my child yesterday and I have come to do the same thing to the child. And you are doing that in the presence, presence of, of that you. child. Yeah. So I have had uh, parents come to school and tell, call the child, call the teacher and say, see, whatever this teacher tells you, don't do it. Mm. And at the end of the day, it's going to have a cumulative negative effect mm -hmm. on the family, the parents, even the society. Mm -hmm. So we should be responsible and accountable. Mm -hmm. And we should be firm in the discipline of children. Wow. So what support system are available for child abuse survivors and their families? Just like you said earlier, some of them are not willing to talk. Actually, the victims are not willing to talk, like either out of fear or something. So what are those things? Are they, um, the support systems are available for survivors and also the families. I think the government has put all agencies in place responsible for attending to cases of child abuse like this. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I, I feel we are not doing 
enough yet because the sensitization and the system should be taken to the permit me to use the word grassroots mm -hmm. now in the area me i come from now i will only be able to operate and handle the one that is within my immediate mm -hmm. environment mm -hmm. maybe the school the compound where i live mm -hmm. but so many other abuse takes place elsewhere mm. so how do we handle it mm. so if we have and i think schools should even come into this more if uh, our authority can do more sensitization we are doing mm. because for for us as uh, institutions educational institutions we go for training enlightenment and all of that mm. we know the extent anybody should do on any child mm. and we know the penalty that will come to anyone that will abuse a child mm. but what about the families what about the people caretakers of these children mm. so if we have and i know in every community we have schools so if we have uh, schools empowered to report such cases people can walk in and report cases and it will be taken up mm. and it will be passed on to those other institutions that are responsible for handling mm. the cases okay so in your um how like to say, in your field now as a counselor cases that come to you how were you able to handle and then because sometimes you don't really know how to even go about it sometimes actually um, working in school now knowing from okay from the child is either when you go you might face um something else and then the child will, uh, will get the other result so how do you actually go about it personally now as a counselor how do you well this one would depend on the kind of situation that is being handled okay. like this one that i said so far the hands of the uncle that mm. was ripped she pleaded she said don't talk to my family because mm -hmm. it will uh, we took steps immediately we got some human rights uh, agencies were contacted they were able to take the case up but eventually we had to work with the family first okay. so in situations like that we start with the victim uh work with the family and if it's possible we hand them over to those that are responsible for handling those cases. we have a lot of human rights around mm -hmm. that are willing mm -hmm. to move in when such situation arises yeah, okay mm. we'll go on a short break we'll continue from where we stop now and after that the program continues don't go anywhere in being up to date with the PC world of sports our rebranded capital sports is the finest bet for your doing so so join us every Thursday live at 3 p.m. on MTA Channel 5 Abuja to talk sports for your viewing play show remember you can be a part of this number one sporting program join us on the analysis views and opinions Welcome back from that break. If you just joined, you've not really missed because we've been talking on a topic: child abuse. And with me in the studio, we've been talking with um, Bolanle. <laughs> What's wrong with me now? This Udu actually disappeared in my head. Like I already have yeah, food work in my head. Bolanle Moses. Bolanle Moses. Bolanle Moses. <sighs> <laughs> Udu actually disappeared. Okay. Let <laughs> me come back again. Okay, okay, no. Yes, yes. Balale Moses. <laughs> this is still Good Morning Abuja. And we, I've been talking with Bolale Moses. We've been talking about child abuse. And together we've been talking about how to discover and um, discover a child that is being abused. So we're, um, before we went on the short break, we were talking about um, how you, where you discover what happens, the right channel to go, and then people being involved in this um, parenting, like a community kind of, for you to discover someone. Because sometimes you notice and then you don't know what to do. Sometimes the parents will tell you, leave me and my child, like it's not of your business. And you are forced to just look on, like mm. on new watching. So 
But in your field as a counselor now, how have you been able to, like the victims now of child abuse, how have you been able to bring them out of there? It's, it's, it's different discovering them. And then for you to now bring them out of their shell, how are you able to do that? That will involve a lot of counseling. Okay. Uh, because it damages their uh, self-esteem. Self it damages their confidence. Mm. And like I told you, they can form negative opinions about the society. Okay. That will, I am not loved. Nobody mm, wants yes. me. Mm. I am this and I am that. Mm. So it will take an experience and to continue to counsel, to talk to them, to mm. make them see beyond the situation mm -hmm. that there is still tomorrow that is far better and brighter than yeah. what you have experienced. Mm -hmm. And as that continues, let every other person, if it is something that is not opened to all, yes, it's just to work on that child, mm. just to work on that child until the pain, you know, okay. uh, uh, leaves that child. Okay. Yes. So you keep working on... You keep working okay. until you get like that child back on track. Oh, wow. Mm. Okay. So it's something and possible. P possibly, that child may need to change the environment. Okay. That's uh, like the school? The environment of the abuse. Okay. Uh, because this is okay. a family abuse now. Like this girl that I was talking to you about mm. stays with the hunt mm -hmm. and this happened. Mm. And this same uncle that did that still lives there. Okay. Uh -huh. We may not as a school be empowered to work on the perpetrator of the uh, incident. Yeah. So the girl may likely need to change her environment mm -hmm. if the therapy will work. Okay. Uh, because with the child still stay mm -hmm. in the environment mm -hmm. we work, it there may be a re abuse. Okay, mm. okay, so before I let you go, I want a quick word and uh, like a word of advice for people out there because we, it, as it is now, it's something, it's um, a community effort to actually try and discover and actually give help to an abuser, a victim and all that. So we want a word of advice from you for people out there. Well, I would advise that everybody should be accountable and everyone should take responsibility. Okay. In my place, they say there's one person that gives birth to a child, but a thousand people will discipline that child until the child is formed. Mm. Let discipline be imbibed. Mm -hmm. The reason why we have so many cases today is probably because of bad parenting that has formed a chain. I was abused and because of the pain and the aggression, I transfer it to another person. I must also abuse another person. Mm. So everybody should build, our value system should be cultivated, it should be strong, and everybody should take responsibility over every child that we have opportunity to nurture. Oh, wow, mm. wow, it's a good one. So mm. you've, we've said it all, like it's for us to now look out, be on the lookout, and mm. all, there's actually help out there. You yes. can, once mm. you discover a child, there are the places to go and all that, because sometimes what to do that makes people to just keep quiet. Keep and quiet. Just, yeah. mm. So what you've told us, and we've, we know better now. <laughs> so thank you for coming on the program. Thank I wish you, you could so go much. on, but we'll have you come some other time on the program. Thank you so much. Thank you for coming. So we've been mm. talking to Bonali Mosey. She's a counselor, and together we've talked about child abuse, how to know someone that has been abused, what to do, and how to get help. We'll go on a short break, and after that, the program continues.